Yes, I guess that's what we're left with. But the thing is that there is not much happening at my side. I'm just in the fucking desert. It's all sand and thoughts and fires and long, long nights. Do you know that the moon also rises and, and sets? And if you stay all night watching, you see the whole journey across the sky. And there are stars that chase it. It's really cool. But yes, other than that, there's not much happening on my side. So I just really wanted to chat and hear what's up with you and, and laugh and hear your voice. Which is not really working that way with voice messages, no? But here we go. And I love the sounds that your, your surroundings make. And yes, I take the idea of you filming some things and passing them over my voice. <laughs> That'd be fun to see. And also, who's, who's your, who's your house, housemate going to be? Tell me more. I want to know things about your friends. Shit, it's, it's been really nice to hear a long message from you. I can only stay here until the end of uh, September and then my six Mexico months are coming to an end. Also, I spend a lot of money eh? and I need to figure out how to get more. An option is going to the US for harvest if the border opens up or making an insurance come maybe. Um, yeah, not much more. I also thought about um, selling puppies because dogs here love me and also they all fuck all the time and get pregnant a lot. So maybe I could sell puppies to rich people. I don't know. Any ideas for money making in Mexico? Let me know. Hit me up. I'm open to anything. Duh. I wouldn't. It was a joke. I'm just hanging out with the dogs and not thinking about making money out of dogs but the previous two options were super real and I think that's gonna let me survive another year in this country and it's also funny because all of the days are different you know they have a different vibe and I see different things and things are changing in the long term as well at the beginning any living being that I haven't seen before was scaring me a lot and yeah, there is a lot of deadly things out there, but but not all of them are, and I'm not scared anymore. I just hang out and watch them and and feel the vibes, you know. And it's really working out. When I'm back underneath our tree, I'm gonna record Sunset List for you, cause right after colivers, they're my favorite birdies here. Sunset List. Yeah, and it feels really special in the desert to be hanging out with animals because, well, there is no humans ever. And it, it feels like I can almost communicate with, with the animals when I have a rest of communicating with people. It feels very nice. I love how <laughs> half of the time you speak to me, you mention things. I truly love it. <laughs> in Puesi, in the desert, it seems like not much happens until you're actually there and you go on walks. Then a lot of things happen. Um, well, a lot of it is trying to find ways not to get in conflict with the sun because when you do it really burns your skin. And I'm finding more and more ways to, to protect my skin and and my head from it and then yeah there is only there is only sun and loads of flat land and you go on walks and you take one right and then you go straight and then you try to come back the same way and it's never the same way like you turn around and there is a hundred paths and none of them are straight and I find this really exciting because that's how I feel normally with navigating in the cities as well but but here it's true, you know? 
and yeah there's this very special cactus that grows there and I think now when I go down I'm gonna go on walks with the cactus you eat it and you see more at barn it's the local medicine and the best advice that I got so far about staying in the desert well during the day and during walks focus on the snakes because if you step on them you're dead and I don't want that so I walk and I focus on the snakes and it also brings me back a lot to like not getting not getting distracted and focusing on the uh, on the ground and on the animals around me and then the next piece of advice that I got and was really working was to to trust the fire so at night it can be really scary everything is just so dark all you see is the sky and the fire so the trick is to build a big big fire and um, and that's what scares away all of the fears because you think there is no fears but then you're in the desert and it's dark and there's loads of fears and yeah we were the three of us all the time and I think it's gonna be really different when I come back by myself but yes uh, there is no signs anywhere that I will be coming close to civilization anytime soon I'm really excited about what's happening here uh oh so you get to live it now yeah I think the internet that day was really really bad I'm, I'm a bit bored in the town and I just went into this church that's here and it's it's full of those images I'm gonna show you some people draw on no metallic plates the the miracles that the San Francisco de Asino did in their lives because that's the patron of this town so a lot of them like either draw what they need help with or draw the thanks there's people from prisons that say thank you for giving me my liberty back there's people who fell off rocks in the mountains there's people who bought cars there's people whose goats were sick and they're not sick anymore since 1927 so they came to draw goats and and um, say thanks to san francisco it's really fucking cool and the images are so dope and there's like hundreds of them i want to go to all of the churches now i think it's in all of the churches eh? i don't know actually i'm not in the desert right now we're in the stone really close to the desert in a semi desert or a sierra how they call it here and and it's in the mountains the mountains are really dry too it's strange but we found a couple of trees that we're staying under i'm still with eva we split ways with diego and Eva is going away soon so I'm just getting my spirits and my skills ready to be in the desert completely by myself just with the moons and the fires and I'm really excited about this Ash, even the voice message take ages to get to you that sucks well, so I've been reading about birds and maybe it's just the biggest proof that you can get about aliens existing on, on Earth because there are birds that are really good with learning other birds and other creature sounds and yeah, then you get birds in the cities that can mm, reproduce the siren or television sounds and here in the desert there is this bird that's called Sensontle and people here say that it knows 400 songs and it keeps learning you know and the book i was reading about birds was really cool and 
it spoke about so many different things like you know sparrows the little gray brownish birds that are in, in all of the cities so those ones are really crazy they reproduce like crazy they have sex like 100 times a day sometimes and they're really lazy and stationary normally so when a sparrow is born in a train station it might well be that it will stay there for its whole life but also it's a bird that um, that colonized all of the continents um, the quickest and the way they were doing it was by train so <laughs> they well known for jumping trains and other human ways of transport that's how they migrated from asia minor to europe and then from europe on ships they went to america both of them and i'm actually watching two of them jump around right now they were probably born just here underneath this tree. Yeah, how is that going? How is fucking and dating people? How are the people that came into your life? Did it get you really excited? Do you spend a lot of time together? Do you get lost? How's it going? Yeah, with me since. Uh, since Diego, I kind of feel just like I want to be by myself with fucking snakes and spiders. I got a nice dildo and I'm very happy for now of self-sufficient fucking and self-sufficient everything. <laughs> but yes, I do often think about the sex that we were having and how nice it was. And I miss it a lot. Can we, can we do it again? <laughs> but if you do feel like recording some things back, um, I'm gonna try to find some more internet later on. And, and listen to them. I love you, Aya.